All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor and you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it, from knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez, there's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger than life character and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor and he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns here. All right, here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 16 wins two losses he stands five feet nine inches tall weighing in at 145 pounds fighting out of dublin ireland presenting the challenger the notorious connor Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to the This place is packed to the nines. They have locked the door behind Conor McGregor and Bruce Lee. Your thoughts on what we might see here? We are going to see two guys moving at the fastest speed that I've ever seen in my life. Hit the fast forward button, and maybe you can feel like you're watching these two athletes. They're tremendous fighters, tremendous athletes, and unbelievable talents. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick. 
big fall from Punch Lance. Now he gets back to range. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, big punch land. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming up tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. He's trying to find a home for that right hand. Strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Liver kick. This is such a crazy fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Kick to the body by McGregor. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big leg kick lands. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Connor. Circling away towards the left hand. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, what a punch. Lance with the right hand. One head kick after the next. An amazing chin on this guy, but you gotta think at some point here, he's gonna get knocked down, if not knocked out. And he landed the right hand there. There's no give on that leg kick. Under a minute to go. Good stick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. Oh, lands the overhand up top. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Punches blocked. Not there. Try to establish that jab. Round two is next. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Are you ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. 
got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there from McGregor. It is his best strike, and it's because he knows exactly where he needs to be in the octagon to land that left hand over and over again. Switching stances here. Out of range with that one. really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect head kick there. Continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Be first, be first. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. I mean, that right hand landed square. Big leg kick land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Yeah. Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent. Oh. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. And we go inside the octagon. And Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Let's stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the Tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt wrapped around my waist tonight. He got that done. 
Look at him celebrate with his corner. Those guys all believe.